Okay, so we're going to talk about the first battle that took place between the first Ottoman king and the huge, mighty Byzantine Empire. Now, this battle was a big deal because it introduced this new character into world politics that was basically going to change how the world works. Hi, my name is Misha and welcome to Tariqi Tales. And this video is a part of the Ottoman history series. And if you want to see more videos from that series, head on over to the playlist listed here. Now, this battle was called the Battle of Bapsis or Bafius. I don't know how to pronounce that. Now, we hear about this battle through the Byzantine Empire, not through the Ottomans. So this battle took place in the year 1301. And it's a battle that Osman actually won. He was able to take a lot of the countryside that belonged to the Byzantine Empire. Now, Osman did try to take a hold of the major city of Iznik, and he did besiege the city for a year or two, but he wasn't able to take control of it. Now, what's interesting is what happens after the battle. Now, in that time, in Anatolia, there in Anatolia, there were a number of Turk tribes that were living there. And this wasn't the first time that somebody had tried to attack the Byzantine Empire because they were so close in proximity, right? In fact, the Geryan house attacked in the year 1239 to 1240 and the Karaminids attacked in the year 1256. All of this was before Osman's time. But the major difference is the fact that Osman actually managed to win and that bothered the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Now, the emperor at that time was called Andronicus II Peleologus. Now, he was very worried that, okay, this man attacked me and he managed to take some of my land and he wanted to put an end to this because now, Osman had basically left a mark, right? So initially, the emperor thought, okay, I'm going to try and be diplomatic and we're going to come to terms. So he reached out to the Ilkhanid dynasty. Now, the Ilkhanids were basically a dynasty that came after the time of the Seljuks and it was kind of like a leftover dynasty by the Mongols. This is obviously an oversimplification, but that's what it was. And now, the tribe of Osman and some other tribes in that area were basically under the patronage of the Ilkhanid dynasty. So they were like their overlords, right? Now, the emperor Andronicus basically decided that why should I bother with Usman? I'll talk to the person who's in charge of Usman because in his mind, that's what it was. So he reached out to the Ilkhanid dynasty and he offered to marry off one of the princesses of his household to the then Ilkhanid Khan, Ghazan. But the thing is, Ghazan died and so the emperor was still hell-bound on this diplomacy tactic. So he decided to marry off that princess to Ghazan's brother. And in return, he was hoping that they would basically rein Usman in or they would actually send some sort of help in the form of troops or money. But when none of that came forward, they realized that maybe diplomacy wasn't the best way to go forward. And maybe the Ilkhanids don't have as much control over these Turk tribes as they had thought. So the emperor then decided that he needs protection and his army wasn't strong enough. So near the year 1303 to 1304, the emperor hired a company of mercenaries called the Catalan Grand Company. Now, these were Spanish people and they were hired to kind of help the empire protect its borders. But when they got there to the borders of the Byzantine Empire, these mercenaries just realized that the empire is weaker than they thought and they started looting the empire itself. Now, remember, this was the same empire that had basically hired them and they were looting their own boss in a way. Now, sources also say that they kind of invited the neighboring Turk tribes to come and join their ranks and help them in looting the Byzantine Empire. And this was kind of like a blow to the empire because this is the last thing they wanted. Now, the Byzantine sources which give us this information don't mention that Osman's tribe was part of this looting group. There were a number of Turk tribes that were in the area at that time and it could have been any of them. So they don't really specify Osman or his tribe and we don't know which tribes helped them out. But all of this was basically checked and put to stop when with the help of the Serbians. 
the Serbians came to the aid of the Byzantine Empire and together they were finally able to stop the Catalan Grand Company from looting the empire. So there you go, that's basically the first battle that took place between Osman and the Byzantine Empire and the battle that put him on the world stage. Now soon afterwards, even though it wasn't conquered within the lifetime of Osman, Iznik did end up being conquered and one of the first Ottoman buildings that we know of today is kind of found in that city, which is the Haji Uzbek Mosque and it is dated the year 734 Hijri, which translate to 1333 or 1334 CE. 